Good day, everybody. It's Max, and welcome to Xion. That's right. And in this tips tutorial, we're going to talk about the first hour of gameplay. And before the game actually comes out here in a few days, and for those who see this after the game comes out, your first hour of gameplay is going to be mostly, I don't want to say tutorial-ish, uh, but there's a few gotcha moments that you really got to watch for. One of those is going to be around food, and the other one's going to be around population. So, as the intro is going by here on the screen, let's talk about food and population and your first hour of Zion gameplay. Upon starting, uh, basically you're going to get some workers, uh, you're going to get 85 workers, and you're going to get a bunch of stockpile all over the place. Now, um, for, for the best layout, I, I would recommend that you watch my demo, and uh, I'll have the demo here at the end of, the, of this uh, tutorial video. Uh, the demo, and towards the end of that demo, you'll see the full layout that of what's going on. But you're going to be first have to build a couple of stockpiles, and those stockpiles, as you can see here on the screen right now, uh, I am going to run this road down the back half side. Now, this road with this first stockpile is going to do that, but then the rest of this road will be used for housing. Now, this will keep the housing towards the back end of the station, uh, and then what I'll do is, is I will run my stockpiles on the other side. Now, I had to get one up and running just to get started, and that is why we see this one here. Uh, but stockpiles later on will move to the other side. So. Housing is going to run down the right-hand side of this uh, gantry way. Uh, my stockpiles will run on the left-hand side of this large gantry way that you see here. And then, of course, in front of this road, once these boxes here that you see are cleared out, uh, this is where we're going to start food production. Now, I've done a zoom out here, so what you can see is these boxes that are out here farther away we don't have to be so concerned about those right away. So right now, as you can see, I've started working on that, uh, working on that road to build that out. Uh, I have put in two more stockpiles. I probably will later on uh, get ready to remove one of those and move it to the other side so as I can get more housing down the back. Housing and, the st uh, and these stockpiles are the same size in terms of width. I think it's a three wide square. Uh, so with that, we'll be able to get in enough housing so towards the end of your first hour uh, we'll be able to house all of these people which of course after we get all the speeches from all your administrative type people uh, your, your actual staff are going to start asking for these things so with that that's where we'll move on to the next piece so here we are we're about Oh, we're about good 20 to 25 minutes in and as you can see uh, along that back end road I've got the housing in and I've got three stockpiles in the only thing I would have changed in this particular case is I would have done the two stockpiles then switched the uh, stockpiling starting on the other side of that main landing gantry and the reason is is that you're going to find more explorers as we go along and by keeping all the housing together, it just keeps things organized along that back road. As you can also see, I've started putting in the food production because this is going to be your other cripple. Housing and food production. Uh, you've got to get at least two of these down to keep the food production running for the time being. So, uh, sometimes I put a third one in and then uh, shut it down. Uh, when I'm not using it or I've got extra food on storage but you're gonna definitely want to prepare for that and you'll notice them food uh, processors they tend to fit right in there on that secondary road really nice uh, here of course you can see now they are gonna start asking for the quarters right so I have been building these houses way while the uh, administrators were all doing their speeches so as when this mission part came up it was like BAM I'll have the houses done within so many days. This will give us an extra boost to crew morale. And of course, we can then move on with the game. So with that, let me get a little farther into the game. Uh, as you can see, we got the housing going up, we got the food go already going in, and we got that secondary road there where I can bring food and housing all the way up. As mentioned, uh, I would move this, uh, I would have moved this supply depots that you can see the three of them there. I would have started moving them to the other side for uh, strategic factors. 
Besides that, everything is going well. Okay, so you're going to initially run into a power problem, and then you're going to be forced to fix it. Yes, you can try to avoid this, but it's basically kind of part of the storyline that you learn about power now. And when it takes place, it's just good to be a little bit of ahead of the game. So as when you do run into the power problem, you know that you go around, start turning off buildings, right? So as you can see there, I've turned off uh, one of the power needs uh, for a supply depot. Uh, I'm going to probably turn off a little bit more power on a few other things as a temporary measure then reboot the system, because that will be the other thing, right? And you'll notice here I've got an incoming transmission. Uh, the incoming transmission, of course, is to tell me about power, blah, 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 all the things. And then, of course, uh, so you have to reduce your power consumption below your output. Then you have to do a reboot. And the reboot, I think, takes 60 seconds. It's, it was going to happen sooner or later. Just, <laughs> just go with the flow, right? Uh, and, of course... Uh, once you've done that, you can get your first solar panel built outside, and you're good to go. Okay, so in this particular case, uh, you'll be sending out a cargo supply pod for more food, all right? Uh, the, the, and you get this as part of your missions as well. When it comes to getting this more food, uh, of course, uh, you'll want that more food because we need all the food, people. Uh, trust me, it's tough. Um, yeah, food. Food for the first part of the first hour of the game is, is just crazy. Uh, one thing I would do now, and what I'll be doing in my playthrough, uh, is I will definitely be moving that research center over to the right and putting it up against that back road I have there towards the door. Uh, this, of course, just moves it out of the way a little bit, only because it is a relatively large building. And the other thing is, is that when you're not researching, try to keep it powered down right uh, that way of course uh, you're not drawing too much power because that research building that you're seeing that I've got the mouse on right there uh, the tech lab it does draw 12 power it's a, it's it's it, it draws a lot of power uh, so of course when you're working on that stuff you may have to turn some other stuff off just note that you you should watch out for that building now uh, again I would move this building to my far right hand road there uh, as you can see the the road there is on the far right uh, instead of having my uh, fourth uh, food building on the other side of it, that way I could turn it the other way and put it in with the other three. So with that, let's keep moving on to the last parts of this first hour. Uh, and of course, then we'll move on to talk about what happens in the end. Okay, one of the final things you're going to get to do uh, is, of course, you're going to get to build um, your own... Uh, well, I would call it a shuttle landing bay, but basically you're going to be able to uh, build an EVA building. Uh, and that is what's going to be on the front half of the screen, whereas the shuttles go in that back half of the screen. Now, this allows you to see the outside of the ship like you're seeing here now. And then, of course, this allows you to do things like install solar panels and uh, any of the other exterior kind of parts, uh, as well as being able to see the outside of the ship and do a few other things. Uh, as you can see here, I'm getting close to the end where I've collected up a lot of the materials. I've got everything kind of set up. Um, again, I would have changed uh, slightly uh, moving my um, supply boxes over to the left side and having more housing ready available to the right. And the same with my research center. I would push that to the far right on that far side road. Uh, while having more room for food output and just have it right up against the housing so there would be uh, less traffic. Now, I would keep one of the supplies on the right, uh, and the one I would keep on the right is the food supply base. So that way the food would be really close to the, to the uh, population and to the, to the food centers. That way the food could drop right off into the building, and then the building could drop right off into the citizens. The steel and stuff could work on the left. It's perfectly fine. And of course, then you get to the final end of the first hour. And uh, this, of course, is when you're all approved. You're ready to make the vol jump. And away you go. Uh, I, I must admit, to get this game, I loving it. Loving it. You betcha. Oh, yeah. Do all the goofy things with all the graphics you know it uh so with that uh let's bring it back here in just a moment 
uh, without doing too much spoilage about everything that goes on to wrap things up. So this little tips tutorial video is just about you getting through the first hour. Listen to your administrators, but don't be afraid to build while they're talking, okay? Build your housing on the right of the, of the uh, docking station and build most of your supply holdings to the left of that docking station. You can build one on the right for food, so as when you then build your road for your housing and then put the food in front of it, uh, there's a nice little supplemental triangle there of the food being dropped off into supply, which then gets dropped off into housing. Research is going to have to happen later, and of course, you, you know, you're going to get a few events to do that. And when, of course, you do those events, uh, put that research building off to the far right. Uh, at the time, I'd put it down because, of course, uh, it was my first playthrough. Uh, but in this case, I would move that building now to the far right. When it comes to EVA docking, which is the front half uh, that you'll have to put in, uh, this, of course, is what allows you to put external solar panels and all the other things on. Uh, of course, you'll put that in on the front, and then, of course, you'll just finish cleaning up the ship, putting the extra minerals away, and then, of course, you're getting ready for the big jump. I'm Max. This has been Xion. That's right. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, the developers pronounced this three different ways. <laughs> they had three developers on one of their developer videos, and the developers pronounced their game three different ways. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pick one. So Xion it is for me, and of course, I hope you enjoy the first hour, as well as I'm going to have it on the channel, and I hope we get to have a whole lot of fun, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.